A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Miriam Mimi. The topic of today's lesson is the Suffering Servant Poem. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that we have your words to guide us. Lord, as we come today for another feasting of your word, we ask, Lord, that you will help us to understand so that we can live them out in our lives. For Christ's sake, amen. In last, week, last week's lesson, we learned that the unnamed servant referred to Jesus, our Messiah. We also looked at a number of things that would be accomplished by this unnamed servant. Today's lesson introduces us to what I consider to be the most important accomplishment of this servant. In Isaiah 53, called the Suffering Servant Poem, Isaiah created a vivid picture of the suffering that this servant would undergo long before it happened. According to the lesson, every phrase of this short poem is packed with meaning that reveals the core of God's unthinkable quest to save a race steeped and lost in sin. During the course of this lesson, we see Isaiah developing the messianic theme, his conception and birth, his Davidic or kingly line, his work of restoration and liberation, and today we see him suffering and dying on our behalf. The poem represents a stunning contrast, or presents rather, a stunning contrast to the servant in the previous chapter who will prosper and be exalted. This servant descends into sorrow and rejection and eventually dies a cruel death. Paul in Philippians 2 verse 5 to verse 8 tells us the extent of this condescension. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. I invite you today to take some time and read the poem of the suffering servant found in Isaiah 53. As you read, meditate on just what Christ did for you. The great price he paid by giving his life so that you and I can live so that you and I can be free from our sins, so that you and I can live eternally with him when he comes. And that, my friend, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your words, and we thank you that you went all the way to Calvary to die for our sins, so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. Lord, may we take of this free gift and may, Lord, we not only um, take, but may we be willing to share with others. Share with you with others so that they too can come to know you and to know his life eternal. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of Alpha. God bless you. A lesson for all, daily at 6 a.m.